All right, so we're talking about accountability, integrity, and unity. Why? Why are we talking about these three things? Well, accountability, integrity, and unity are the foundations of our culture. And uh, as Fred Lee, a, the author of If Disney Ran Your Hospital, Nine and a Half Things You'd Do Differently, he says, culture eats strategy for breakfast. I made this little graphic, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> strategy! All right, so what does that mean? Strategies are standard order sets, policies and procedures, standard operating procedures, plans. That's a strategy. How we're gonna get to where we wanna go. Culture is everything else, right? We've been talking about culture. So let's say that I'm a front office employee at Sun City West. Sun City West gets very busy every day. <laughs> Sun City West is a very large clinic. And Monday's particularly busy day, 375 patients coming through. Busy day. So in the morning huddle, the practice manager says to me, all right guys, we got 375 people on schedule, we gotta go, 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 no lines at all costs. We gotta move, we gotta move, we can do it, we can do it. Manager's pumping us up to get through a busy day. What's the culture in that situation? Energetic? Positive. Fair, positive, sure. How about rush? How about go, go, go? Mm -hmm. How about doesn't matter, get the line knocked down? Right, because I mean, all, all the energetic positive, that's all true, but realistically, it's a stressful situation and your boss is telling you to go, 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 no lines at all costs, and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm brand new. <laughs> right, it's, a, it's a, it, yeah, you've been there. <laughs> so, that's the culture. We have a policy, a financial policy, where if a patient presents and they have a past due balance, it's our job to collect it. If the balance is large enough, then what do we do? We route them to billing and set up a payment plan and blah, 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 blah. Those things take time, right? So, Monday morning, I'm at the front office, whew, ready to go. Checking people in, checking people in, line builds up, I knock it down. Checking people in, checking people in, line builds up, I knock it down. I'm, I'm a machine, I'm just doing great. It's my second day, I'm knocking it out, this is awesome. Build up, knock it down, build up, knock it down. Build up five, six, seven people deep, and someone presents at the front, and they owe $575. <laughs> what do I do? I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to get them to billing and so I can get them on the phone and get the payment plan and collect the money and I have to ask them for a lot of money they probably don't have and that's hard but then my boss is saying go, 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 no lines at all costs. My line's building up now. There's eight, nine people in my line and I'm getting stressed out. I remember somebody saying that if I don't collect the money, someone else will down the line. Here's your paperwork, we'll call you back in a minute. Right? The very first time we ignore a policy, it has less power to influence our behavior next time. The very first time we ignore a policy. If I ignore that financial policy because someone else is going to collect down the road, it doesn't hurt the next time I just decide to violate it. Okay? Now, another example of this is you've all been at the mall around here. We have indoor play areas in the mall because it's too hot outside. Right? So you go to the mall and you walk by the play area, whether you're a parent or an observer, you will hear this. Billy, it's time to go. One, two, two and a half. <laughs> right, what is that? Right? The policy is, Billy, come here now. I said come here. And the culture is, Billy's in charge. I'm a dad three beautiful children. In fact, I'm a great dad. I'm a great dad, and I've earned the ability to say that. I am a great dad. I've been there. I have taught my children fractions at the mall <laughs> because I didn't want to like, get aggressive with them in public and I'm trying to figure it out, right? Because my kids are in charge. The culture is Jerem's in charge or Kai is in charge. The policy is come here now, now. Right? And what do you think when you see me going through that? That guy's got no control over his kids. Right? The perception always follows the culture. The perception always follows the culture. I'm a great dad, but your perception of me 
because of the culture in that situation, is my kids are in charge, I am a terrible dad. Maybe not terrible, just out of control. <laughs> right? Patient issues. Patience. <laughs> right? So an organization's culture starts with its people. You guys know what a grassroots movement is? You guys know what grass is? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So grass is this wonderful plant. It starts at the ground and has very shallow but vast roots. Did it go away? Vast roots. Right? Many, many roots. Very shallow, very vast. That represents the many, the people. And the actual plant is a stalk that grows up, or a series of stalks that grows up, right? Those very shallow roots have the ability to make grass grow really, really tall. Look at monsoon season, right? So a grassroots movement is something where the roots of the grass, the many, the people, enact something so powerful that the people at the top can't help but notice. There is more power to change the culture of this organization in this room than there is on the other side of this wall in the executive suite. The power lies with us. Eric Tomlin, our chief operating officer, has less power to influence the culture of this organization than the people in this room. Because we're out there, we're doing the work every day. If we don't have a culture of trust and respect, what are our patients gonna remember when they're filling out a survey? What are their perceptions going to be? I'm just a cog in the machine. They, I'm only a number. It's like the DMV. Those are things that people say when they don't feel like they're cared for. Culture eats strategy for breakfast.